your songs are used for films and TV. I think when you started out, right? Um, uh, well, you didn't think of no. your songs being used for films and TV. Um, you must have thought about it. How come? Is there? Is there? Do you do you have an explanation why your songs are? Yeah. Why I I've been lucky at TV. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, a a just period I've been lucky. Two, I work really hard and I'm kind of out there. Um, three, I've had you know really good agents who work my catalog, um, and and uh, you know, but also you know at least half of the stuff has come in just through my inbox or whatever. And uh, and in today's world, you know, uh, particularly in the states, radio is just a, a mess and and TV and film have been a really wonderful way to to get your music in front of you know often millions of people you know and um, so everybody is trying to do that and it just I got lucky particularly with my Stargazer record um, that was the first one where I just started getting a lot of love from that and and, and that's helped drive my business so much and as these TV shows and films and stuff come east, you know, it's just, they're, they're exposed to, you know, you can't beat it, your your stuff is in front of millions of people, Sp particularly if it's, a, if it's a good placement, right, if it's actually has a, you know, some emotion to it and it's well placed into a TV show, people, you know, kids will just go straight online and they will figure out what that damn song is. But that's good, but how come the, well, the, 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 how come your music works well with images, with, uh, with films, with, with you know, I, I don't if know. You, if you yeah. don't know, then yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I, I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, like, lyrically, like, my song feels like the end, you know, it's a, it's a darkie, you know, I was just going there to a dark place, and, and, and it's funny, too, how many people say that resonates with them, you know, it's just, and, and uh, so that song is just used like crazy, and I think just, they just like the line feels like the end, so they put it at the end of shows and stuff. It's been used, you know, probably a dozen times or something, including just like a few weeks ago on a show on VH1. And, um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, they they like the lyrics, they like the vibes, and if, you know, but it's, it's uh, you know, you, you never take it for granted because it's it's very hard to get, and now that's become so competitive because that's one of the last places in the industry where there's still money and uh, and still exposure to be had, And uh, but we work that angle for sure. Is there one song maybe of your new album that's, going to be used for, I don't know, TV or film? Um, you know, Carrollton was used already. Um, Good for as what? Gold, is, um, Carrollton was used on One Tree Hill, I think. Um, Good as Gold is in a couple of indie films already. Um, I'm spacing. Um, yeah, I think uh, ne Never Knew the Sunshine was used for something. Um, Keep You in Mind was licensed. Oh, there's so many things. Uh, yeah, Many but songs. we want yeah we want we want them all you know and again that's the it's the uh, you know there was there was a review I got last year or something last record where I was accused of like writing specifically to have my shit on TV and uh, I took great offense to that you know again I really do uh, 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 strive to be an honest writer and and I, it's like I don't have any ulterior motives you know and I don't set out to write the hit song or I don't I, I the stuff that always moves me is real. You know, like your Springsteen, Springsteens or your Neil Youngs or whatever. You know, I'm sure at some point they thought, you know, we need the hit or whatever. But you know, I'm trying to write from an honest place, and that that's where I've been successful, and that's where I think my audience connects with me because I do, you know, try to deal with the real. You know. This question, Mono Solo. Mm -hmm. um, when did you came up, come up with it, Stanley? I was on the roof of the. Uh, I want to say La Hermitage Hotel in L.A. with a buddy, and uh, it was a beautiful day, and uh, I have a very successful friend who's in the movie business, and we were up there having drinks, and uh, honestly, I just remember he had to go take a call or something. I was sitting there, and I was drinking my drink, and I just thought the words mono solo, and, uh, you know, initially, the idea was, um, like Corey's song, right? Corey's song is, is one microphone. The, the, it was just, it's, you know, it's one. It's not stereo. It's it's one. It's one guy doing one thing, and you know uh, the idea of it was just sort of like what I was going through at the time. I just thought this is sort of like one man's experience or whatever, and uh, I just yeah, it just literally popped in my head right there, and uh, I wrote it down.
Or actually, I put it in my phone. That's where I keep all my notes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.